Hello and welcome to IGIL Tech Channel. My name is Christian Drieling. I'm Senior Systems Engineer at IGIL Technology. And in this video, I want to show you how profiles act in a structure. What are we going to see? First, I want to show you how the logic behind assigning profiles in a structure is appearing in reality. And then I will show you how to combine profile settings with different profiles. First, we will have a look to our thin client. This client is reset to factory defaults. It is registered to our UMS, but no changes are here. So the language of our system is English. I prepared two profiles for our scenario. The first profile will set the language of the client to German. So let's have a look. It's German here. And the second one will set the language to French. We also have it here, Francois. And I will assign this profile to Germany, the German profile to Germany. So if I have a thin client here in the subfolders, then it will be on German. But now I'm assigning the French profile to our branch office in Augsburg. If I now take the thin client and put it into the subfolder in the branch office, what do you think will happen to the thin client? If we take a look, we have assigned two profiles, the German one and the French one. I will now reboot the client. And then let's have, let's have a look what happened to the thin client. If we take a look to our thin client now, we see that he is speaking on French with us. Why did this happen? It's really easy to explain. If the thin client is booting or getting some configuration, our server will take a look to the whole structure. So starting on the first level, where no pro, uh, profile is assigned, the next level is where the German profile is assigned. The settings are here, language German. But on the next level, there are the next settings and they will override the settings that have been done before. So the near of the profile to the thin client is important for the overwriting process. But if we now remove the French profile here and assign it on the same level where we already have a profile what sets language settings, what do you think will happen to our thin client? I will re reboot it now and then we will have a look to the thin client. Okay, let's take a look which language is now set at the thin client. We see it's French. To explain why it's French, we cannot only take a look to the folders because here we have no hint why he should use the one or the other profile. If we take a look to the profile, we see there's a profile ID 266 for the German and 267 for the French profile. The IDs are generated during the creation of the profile and the next profile will get, will get a higher ID. A higher ID means a higher priority if there are conflicting settings in the profile. So the newest profile will affect the client if there are conflicting settings to another profile. So let's create another profile. I want to shadow the devices and so I will create a profile called shadowing shadowing for my Linux operating systems and here I will set the shadowing enabled and that the user don't have to prompt uh, don't get the prompt for allowing the remote session this profile I will roll out for all my clients I have to remote shadowing for all the clients but then there's a problem. In Germany, for example, it's not allowed to do it without the prompt and of course also not without the password because there maybe there's a higher security policy in the German company part. So let's create another profile, shadowing Germany. And here I will only set the specific things back I want to use a password and it's high secure one two three four save now I will assign this profile 
to Germany. So like now, okay. That means on Linux we are setting the shadowing function without allowing the uh, without the user prompt and without a password. In Germany we have a profile with the password and with the user prompt. Let's take a look to the thin client. What settings are there? To control and to look up which settings are active on a thin client, we can right click him and click on edit configuration. Then we will get the local configuration from the thin client and then we have the overview about the settings that we did here. So allow remote shadowing is active, prompt user is also active and the password is also active. You see that there's a everything grayed out what we have set from the profile from the management server and that is for all settings we are doing with our UMS server they cannot be changed locally from the device so everything that we set from the server is hard coded in this case for the client and the user is not able to change anything from this. So in this video you got an overview how our profiles are acting in a structure and how to combine different profile settings with different profiles in a structure. Thanks for your attention. If you have any questions feel free to contact our preset support or take a look to our eDocs platform. Have a nice day.